semaglutide like Ozempic are called game changers in medicine. They've seen to result in weight loss equal to 10 to 20% of total body weight within two years. That's a massive amount and it can help many people who are struggling with obesity. However, there's a lot of controversy whether or not the weight loss seen in semaglutide is worth it because up to 40% of it can come from muscle loss. There's also rumors of a common over-the-counter supplement that acts as nature's Ozempic. In this video, I'm going to look at the research regarding semaglutide and weight loss and also if this nature's Ozempic is actually any good. So make sure you click a like and watch until the end to know how to live longer and stay healthier. First of all, what is semaglutide? It's a GLP-1 receptor agonist, which mimics the actions of GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1. GLP-1 is a peptide hormone released by the gut after eating that increases insulin production, decreases glucose levels, and slows down gastric emptying. That's why GLP-1 has anti-diabetic and anti-obesogenic effects by decreasing appetite. The US FDA approved semaglutide for type 2 diabetes in 2017 and for obesity in 2021. Ozempic, Ribelsus, and Wegovy are the most popular GLP-1 receptor agonists, with semaglutide being their active ingredient. So what does the research say about semaglutide and diabetes? The American Diabetes Association recommends GLP-1 receptor agonists for managing body weight, glycemic control, and cardiovascular disease risk in diabetics. A 2023 meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials saw that semaglutide had better effects on glycemic control and weight loss compared to other therapies. In type 2 diabetics, semaglutide has been seen to lower hemoglobin A1c by approximately 1.5%. GLP-1 receptor agonists have been seen to reduce all-cause mortality by 12% and major adverse cardiovascular events by 14% in type 2 diabetics. But what about weight loss? Semaglutide has been found to be effective in weight loss compared to placebo in several randomized controlled trials. It's more effective than previous weight loss medications, but not more effective than bariatric surgery. A 2021 randomized controlled trial saw that people taking semaglutide lost on average 15% of their body weight over the course of 68 weeks compared to the 2.4% of placebo. Another 2022 study found the same results but over the course of two years. In a 2022 double-blind randomized placebo controlled trial, injecting 2.4 milligrams of semaglutide once a week plus lifestyle intervention in obese or overweight adolescents resulted in a significantly greater reduction in BMI than lifestyle intervention alone. The semaglutide group lost 16.1 1% of their BMI, whereas the placebo group gained 0.6% after 68 weeks. The caveat to losing weight with semaglutide is that 40% of it has been seen to be muscle. Granted, that's probably due to the large calorie deficit and insufficient protein intake or lack of resistance training. However, in severely obese individuals, even losing up to 40% of weight as muscle isn't catastrophic because of their already high amounts of body mass. However, it could be dangerous to the elderly who are at a higher risk of frailty. Overall, semaglutide and GLP-1 receptor agonists are very effective in reducing body weight and lowering blood sugar levels. However, they don't work through magic. They work by suppressing appetite and making the person want to eat less food. Semaglutide can result in a 24% lower total calorie intake per day due to appetite suppression, reduction in cravings, and improved control of eating. It's just that obese people, they've probably struggled their entire lives with weight loss, and they're not very good at controlling their food intake. So, for obese people and diabetics, semaglutide can be life-saving. However, this hasn't stopped celebrities and social media influencers from using semaglutide off-label to help with weight loss. So much so that since 2023, there's a shortage of the pharmaceutical. Even Elon Musk said on Twitter that he used it. During the height of the Ozempic popularity in 2023, stories began to circulate about nature's Ozempic, which turned out to be berberine. Berberine is an alkaloid found in barberry and other plants. Indeed, berberine has GL one raising effects through the activation of bitter taste receptors. Interestingly, berberine is often called natural metformin due to its anti-diabetic effects. So let's look at the studies about berberine. Two meta-analyses of randomized controlled trials from 2021 and 2022 saw that berberine is effective for lowering blood sugar levels in diabetes as an adjunct therapy. However, a 2021 meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials concluded that berberine alone isn't superior to metformin in lowering blood sugar, but combining the two is safe and efficacious. So berberine isn't better than metformin in diabetes management, although they work through similar pathways. For weight management, a 2020 meta-analysis
analysis of randomized controlled trials found that berberine supplementation significantly reduces body weight, BMI, waist circumference, and inflammation levels. Berberine was seen to decrease body weight by 2 kilograms, waist circumference by 1 centimeter, and BMI by 0.47 points. That's like pennies compared to the 10 to 20 percent weight loss seen with semaglutide. So berberine isn't better at weight loss than semaglutide either. Yes, berberine has GLP-1 increasing effects and it has anti-diabetic effects, but it's not nearly as potent as an anti-diabetic and anti-obesity drug as semaglutide or metformin. This doesn't mean that berberine doesn't have benefits, it just means that it's not as good as the pharmaceuticals, which makes sense because those pharmaceuticals are designed for people who have medical conditions. If you have diabetes and or obesity, then semaglutide and metformin are much more effective in treating those conditions. You don't want to be obese because it's going to shorten your life expectancy by 5 to 20 years. Diabetes does so by 10 to 20 years. Unfortunately, berberine isn't going to move the needle in a clinically significant way when it comes to weight loss and diabetes, unlike semaglutide and metformin. For someone like me who doesn't have diabetes and who is not overweight, then it makes no sense to take metformin or semaglutide. For those people who aren't diabetic and they're not obese, then for them taking berberine, it might help to lose a few kilograms and it might help to control their blood sugar levels a bit better. But it's not going to be in a clinically significant way. That's why people who don't have diabetes or obesity, they are fine by taking berberine and it can have some health benefits, especially in terms of improving the lipid panel, improving blood sugar levels, and maybe reducing waist circumference. But if you have diabetes and obesity, then definitely consult with your doctor about these things. If you want to slow down aging and live longer, then I'm looking for more people who want to extend their health span. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.